When playing the Arena of Champions, there is actually an internal timer set before you can match up against the same opponent. It is possible to complete a game and then match up with the same individual because the timer has expired. However, the more you match up against the same individual, the longer the timer. Co-op has an internal hidden elo system, meaning that you will be matched up against players of similar skill levels. The arena has no such system, meaning that you will be matched up with people at random who are looking for games. You can actually disable dynamic skins. If you go to the appearance tab of a card, you can actually select whether or not to use the dynamic skin. In this tab, you can also buy the dynamic skins as well, so you can purchase them directly. Another thing you might not know is that cards actually have flavor text. If you go to the story tab, you will see it. If you're a new player, you might not know this, but you can in fact teleport directly to the cat's tavern without needing to teleport to the Mondstadt load store. This can save you a bit of time on loading screens. The cat's tavern actually has an upstairs balcony. Uh, there's nothing really up here, but I believe the reason for its existence is to spit on the people down below. In total, there are six cats in the cat's tavern that you can face. The first one being the orange cat named Finnick. The second being the white cat named Little Rose. The third one being a great cat named Baobab. The fourth one being the black cat named Night Pilot. And the fifth one being named Snaku. And of course you face Prince during level up and during the forge. There is a timer for the penalty if you refuse to duel. The more you refuse to duel, the longer the timer will be. The timer resets daily, probably. The following are probabilities for rolling dice. If you have only one active character and require dice of one elemental kind, you will have a 50% chance of rolling at least 4 elemental dice which would constitute an elemental skill and a normal attack. If you have 2 active characters, you have a probability of 33% to roll at least 6 elemental dice of a desired type. However, the probability of achieving two elemental skills actually decreases to only 18.8%. The end turn timer eats into the draw phase timer. So that means if you have a lot of animations, you might actually run out of time to perform actions in the next round. You should remember to enable Accelerate Duel. If you talk to Prince and check your player level, you can see all the achievements that you are yet to achieve. Furthermore, you can check your Genius Invocation TCG achievements to see how many games you've had and your total progress. On top of that, you can enable Show Locked Cards to see which characters and which cards you have not yet obtained. In this menu, you can easily buy cards as well as see the conditions for obtaining them. you will have a total of 4 cats spawning in the tavern. These cats can be removed if you obstruct their spawn location with some deployables. And their respawn time is a little bit uh, messy. Sometimes they will respawn immediately and sometimes they will disappear for longer. flame created by a dendro burn reaction is marked as a dendro construct. Whatever that means, it is not marked as pyro. The way that the deck codes work is that each internal value of the card is converted into hexadecimal via a hashing algorithm. Each character has four characters assigned to them, whereas action cards only have two. Now, for whatever reason, there is overlap between the two characters' values. Uh, these values will be added together. Now, on top of that, there can be many deck codes for the same deck. This is because there is an internal bit shift. The values are bit shifted by addition or subtraction uh, in order to generate new values. The last two characters of the deck code denote the bit shift. 
In fact, by using some specialized deck codes, you can break the game into generating a random possible deck code. In total, there should be 65,536 total possible deck codes, assuming my information is correct. And that is also the maximum possible amount of unique action cards that each deck is able to support. There are a couple of reasons for the system. The first reason is that it prevents generating deck codes that have special characters that would either break formatting or would be very difficult to type. And the second reason is that it allows for censorship of deck names. So you will never get a deck that has a censorable word in it. You can easily test this. If you have nothing but Ito in the second slot, you will notice that the deck code is very weird. This is because the deck code would contain C4, which is a censored term. In the game's data there are a number of unused cards. Some of these cards have effects, however they have never been introduced into the game and are unplayable. They are simply placeholders. In the character menu, Wanderer is listed under Inazuma characters. However, Wanderer itself does not have any sort of location tag. This is because no nation would accept him as their own after the things that he did. If you use the Joya Celebration on a Dendro character that has Cryo applied, you will receive a Dendro application. This effect can also be applied if the Cryo application is also on an off-field character. The fact of the matter is that it is simply never a good idea to use Joya Celebration on a Dendro character. If your current active deck doesn't meet the requirements, you will not be able to play any deck, even if you're using a different deck. This is either a safety feature or a bug from a long time ago that was never fixed. I'm not sure which. This only applies in the arena and does not apply in other cases, meaning that it's most likely a bug. I reported it a while ago but it was never fixed so maybe it's not. Hydro Herald's debuff increases the cost of Nahida's 5 dice attack. However, it does not increase the cost of Ganyu's 5 dice attack. On top of that, Ganyu's 5 dice attack damage can be boosted with Heavy Strike. This also applies to Linus Pro Peril. In all these cases, the game is working as intended. And those were some tip tricks and facts about Genius Invocation TCG. I hope you guys enjoyed and I doubt there will ever be a part 2.